Hey guys, what's up? Megan here, or as I like to call myself an idiot for not turning on the microphone. So today you'll have to deal with a voiceover during the whole entire tutorial. Anyway, today I'm doing a tutorial on this look, and I use the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette, and... I'm not going to tell you what I think about it until after the video, but I'm sure you can see I'm totally feeling myself. <laughs> I am wearing a wig here, but I'm not going to talk about it because the company does not sell this wig anymore, but I did get it from Powder Room D. I got it from PowderRoomD.com for $35. They were having a huge sale, and I'm sorry if you missed it because it was a good one. I was a huge metal matte, Kat Von D metal matte palette fan, so when the Pastel Goth palette came out, I totally had to pick it up and try it out for myself because everyone was just raving about how good this palette was, and considering a lot of people did not enjoy the metal matte palette like I did, I really had high hopes for this product, so... I definitely was extremely excited to use it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a tutorial on this product just because there were so many out already and I just didn't want to run into doing the same look over and over. But finally I thought of something a little outside the box and decided to film it. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't, Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and, and subscribe to my channel for more products to review. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I already did my foundation and my eyebrows, obviously. I just colored it in real quick. I wanted to go with a natural brow. Now I'm going to take my concealer from Maybelline, this is a Master Conceal, and I'm going to put that all over my eyes to prime my eyes. I find it easier to blend with my fingers rather than a brush. Now I'm going to take this very neutral color, which matches my skin tone pretty well. This, this is, is from the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. Now I'm going to take the star of the show. So as you can see, the metal matte palette is humongous compared to this teeny pastel goth palette, but size doesn't mean everything. These colors are absolutely beautiful. So I gave you some quick swatches. I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to put that all over my eyes because I really want to pick up the pastel colors. I really want to make them shine bright, so that doesn't really make sense because pastel colors don't shine, but you know what I mean. I actually heard in other tutorials how people wish they did this first because it would probably pick up the color better. I'm going to set that with the color Skull from the palette. Now I'm going to take the shade Star and I'm going to put that into my crease and I was super shocked by how pigmented this shadow actually was and I was so excited. It's just so yellow and so pretty, I, I couldn't even bear it. I'm also taking the shade and I'm bringing it down into my outer lid as well as bringing it in toward the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take the shade Doom and I was kind of scared about this color so I build it up slowly but there was definitely nothing to be scared of because this shade was just as beautiful as the last one. 
the thing about Doom is it had a lot of fallout. So definitely be aware of that when you go to put this shadow on. I pulled out my lid a little because I really wanted to get in to my crease. I went back in with the yellow and brought it into more of a wing shape. Now I'm going to take the shade Gloom and I'm going to put that in between the shade Yellow and Blue. Then I'm going back in with Doom and I'm touching up the blue and I'm going to go back in with star and touch up the yellow and I'm going to keep doing this over and so I can make sure that these colors blend well and transition. Now I'm going to take the shade Clementine and I'm going to put that into my other crease and I'm also going to bring that into my outer lid. The shade Clementine actually took a while for me to apply because the color wasn't picking up as well as the other shades I was using and I honestly had a really hard time with this shade. It was rather patchy. Mind you, it still was a very pretty shade once you build it up properly. Now I'm going to take the shade Dope and I'm going to use a very dense brush and I'm going to put that into my inner lid. And, and then I took a fluffy brush and I blended it out. This shade also did get a little patchy so it did take time to build the shade up as well. Then I'm going to take the shade Meow and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the green and I'm going to put it in between Clementine and Dope. I use mostly blending brushes in this process just to make sure everything's blended together. Then I go in with Clementine again, Dope again, Meow again, and just keep repeating so it all blends well together. I'm going to go back in with Doom and I'm going to take a very small dense buffing brush and I'm going, I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to take the Gloom and I'm going to put that next to it and then I'm going to go in with a star. So it's going to transition just like it does on my top lid. I'm really taking star out into the wing just to keep that shape going. Then on my other eye I'm going to repeat. Taking a clean brush, I'm just sweeping back and forth just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Tattoo liner and trooper, and I'm making a wing. And I actually cannot stand this liquid eyeliner. I really don't see the big hype about it, but it went so. <sighs> but I decided to use it just to go with the theme here and I couldn't believe how smooth it went on top of these shadows. I don't know if they did it on purpose or what. I don't think I've really tried the Kat Von D with the Metal Matte Palette that much but I really couldn't believe how smooth it was on top of these ones. I am going to go real quick and I'm going to do my contour and highlight. So now that is done, I'm going to go back in with my NYX Milk Pencil and I'm going to put that all over my waterline. 
my bottom waterline. Then I'm going to make a transition on my waterline just like I did with the bottom lash line. So where there's clementine, I put clementine. Where there is meow, I put meow. And where there's dope, I put dope. Vice versa. You get what I'm saying. Now taking my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, I'm just going to darken my lashes up real quick. My lashes? My lashes. Now taking Noir Noir Very Black Lashes from House of Lashes and the House of Lashes adhesive. And I'm going to use a very dramatic lash today just because we're already having fun, right? Unfortunately, I didn't get no good clips, but I took a long time putting on those lashes. Now I'm gonna go back in with my eyeliner and just touch it up. Okay, this next part is totally optional, but I'm going in with lip Cosmetics a Black Magic Woman Glitter and the Lit Cosmetics et Glitter Adhesive. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of the purple eye because it's a very purpley glitter. I just felt like we wanted to have some more fun because we're having fun, everywhere's fun, fun. Then I'm taking Joy and I'm going to put that in with the blue eye. And I would have took a blue glitter, but I don't have a blue glitter. So I went in with joy because it's a mixed color, fun joy, <laughs> fun joy glitter. <laughs> now I'm going to take my Sephora Luminizer palette, which is actually a very good dupe for the Anastasia highlight palette, and I'm going to highlight the inner corner right next to the glitter and just my brow bone, and my brow bone. Oh yes, yes girl, yes. Then I decided to go ahead and just highlight my cheeks and above my brow. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Model Co. Peach Bellini blush and just add some color to the cheeks. Then I'm going in with my NYX Cosmetics lip liner in Nude Truffle. I absolutely love, love, love this color. I could wear it every day. I'm going to align my lips and I'm going to make it very thick because I'm going to transition it with a liquid lip. So I'm taking the NYX Lingerie and Satin Ribbon and I'm going to put that all over my lip. I'm just going to go back in with the nude liner just to give it somewhat of a ombre effect. Alright guys, thank you so much again for watching. I am so happy with how this look turned out. I'm actually 
if you couldn't tell already, I'm seriously obsessed with this palette. Like, it really, like, stood out to me. I don't, I can't believe it. Starting the year off with this palette, seriously, is life. This might be my new child. It is definitely a must-have. I definitely recommend it to anyone. Seriously. So pigmented. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> if you guys already got this palette, let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will be back next week. Thank you so much.